thank you. Pretty fucking cool. Actually, I shouldn't start the show off dancing. Not that I'm 52 now and I might break a hip or some wheeze might come out. Um, more that that's how Ellen used to start her shows and turns out she's a fucking asshole. So, I love her motto, be kind. How about be kind to your waitress, you bitch? <laughs> now, I know a lot of people like her. She's done a lot of, a lot of good things for the gay and lesbian community, but by that rationale, I used to love Bill Cosby in the 80s and look how that fucking turned out. <laughs> nice, friendly dad. Ooh. It is my birthday, I'm 52, and a lot of women lie about their age, but because you guys can see my face, I'm, I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> Things change, right? In my 20s and 30s, I was quite adventurous. You know, I did bungee jumping and skydiving and all that stuff. But then last week, I put my back out, towel drying my hair. <laughs> I do the fucking osteopath. <laughs> also, about 45 minutes ago, I hurt my neck, giving Ben Hurley a fake angry look. <laughs> oh. Things make me grumpy too. Cargo shorts fuck me off. Like, unless you're a wildlife photographer, you don't need all those pockets, you dick. <laughs> What's going in this one? <laughs> Lots of things annoy me. Um, really get, like, cross at a lot of things, really. Barbecue tools fuck me off as well. Um, you know, they're, they're aimed at men who barbecue. They're absolutely massive, right? You don't need a pair of tongs like this. It's because men cooking meat. Oh, got to have big tongue for meat. <laughs> got to have massive tongue for sausage. You don't need tongs that big unless you're frying your sausages in a fucking volcano, right? <laughs> Just use the kitchen ones, mate, honestly. Waiheke Island fucks me off. You know my idea of a bad time is paying 600 bucks on the ferry to get to Waiheke Island. <laughs> and then going to farmer's market. <laughs> oh, hi, Rufus. Hi, Shane. Shane's a woman. <laughs> Where did you get your spiced caramel latte? By the white privilege caravan. So... <laughs> Also, I, I want to say farmer's market, misleading. I've been to a farmer's market, no fucking farmers on sale. <laughs> I always thought I'd marry a farmer because they just get up early and fuck off for the whole day, don't they? It's great. <laughs> so thank you for coming to my birthday party, it's great. Uh, it's nice to be out of lockdown and we can all celebrate together. Make some noise and be honest, if you drink a few more winesies than normal over lockdown. It's good, you're honest, because you start off, you start off lying, you're like, oh, I'm having a few extra wines a night, and you're going, I'm drinking a fucking bottle of vodka a night, okay? <laughs> and the recycling's really embarrassing, eh, when the recycling comes. <laughs> Your neighbour's like, tinkle, tinkle, a little bit of cardboard, yours is like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Like a viaduct on a Sunday morning, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Had a few snacks as well, I'll tell you what's not social distancing after lockdown, my fucking thighs. So to try and, <laughs> it's a weird thing to clap, to be fair. <laughs> hey, strong thighs, they come in handy. Recently I had to trap a man. Anyway. <laughs> well, you know, when they try and get away before you're finished. Um, <laughs> guys, thank you for coming out to celebrate my birthday. I've been Justin Smith, thank you.